So Virgo, this is Soul, and Virgo, we're going to look at some energies for you starting July 25th and ending July 31st, 2022. The messages will be for Virgo suns, moons, and Virgo rising signs, singles, couples, and Virgos who are into same-sex loving energies. Virgo, I hope all is well. I'm continuing uh, using the Light Sears Tarot to deliver your messages. These cards, I'm going to read in the upright position. Any cards I turn over that are not in the upright position, I will read them in the upright for you. So without further ado, uh, Virgo, let's sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy the reading. And let's get underway here. Messages for Virgo suns, moons, and Virgo rising signs. What's coming up for Virgo? All right, Virgo, we're going to start off with the first energy for you, and it's going to be the two of wands. So you're waiting for someone, and you're sitting there waiting for something or someone to arrive. Now, the two of wands could also represent a relationship. So that could be a person that you're waiting for. It could be that you're waiting for some sort of mail um, to show up. For others, it's just, you know, implementing ideas, uh, writing things down for the near future. Any of the rolling cards, the traveling cards, as I always say, the three of wands, six of wands, six of swords or the chariot show up whatever that you got going on in terms of projects or relationships it moves in a positive uh, direction um, so yeah you could just be uh, feeling a sense of slowness or some sort of stagnation in any area whatever that you know energy means for you two of wands here represents um, fire Aries Leo and Sagittarius underneath that um, in your shadow is the major arcana of the moon so there's a cycle or phase that is being completed here in a new cycle and the phase is about to open up um, revelations I always talk about revelations it could be someone's feelings for you who could be um, you know moving into a deeper emotional level uh, say like you know falling in love with you or being in love with you there's an expression of that energy or it could just be you expressing yourself on how you feel to those who are close to you pay attention to your intuition Virgo because that's very important that's what the moon represent also don't forget that the moon casts an illusion so you always have to deal with situations as they are being presented to you and then also if people show you who they are it could be twofold it can, they can show you who they really are in a negative way but in a positive aspect they can genuinely show you who they are and you have to be able to discern between the two uh, be careful about a rise in your emotional state of being meaning that you know your uh the moon has the influence to take you up really emotionally high and then also could sink you very emotionally low so you always want to strike a balance and try to um you know level things out when it comes to your emotions so there's so you know with the moon also to there's secrets that could be coming towards you that are revealed that someone likes you someone who had a crush on you they come and tell you and so forth the moon represents pisces uh cancer and Scorpio. Following the two of wands, we have the there's a, there's a rolling card right there, six of swords. Moving away from some sort of stressful, uh, you know, energies. Now moving into clear, calmer waters. Uh, if you are traveling, it's safe passage to, safe passage from. Whether it's work related or business related, vacation, you name it. Um, any projects or relationships, they're going to move forward this week because of the six of swords that has shown up for you. Six of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Following that, we have the Four of Pentacles, your own energy, Virgo. You're holding on tight to something. Maybe you're saving up for something grander. Or it could be a small pay raise that comes in for some of you. Also, it could be that there's a little bit of withholding of love and affection. Either you're doing it to someone or someone's doing it to you. Normally, the Four of Pentacles, I always talk about, along with the Five of Pentacles, if it shows up, that there could be some sort of concerns over your money, you know, not having enough money to meet your uh, bills uh, or uh, some other financial uh, situation. OK, so but anyway, the four of pentacles here represents you, Taurus and Capricorn. Up next is the king of swords. So major moves and major actions. This is a card that's speaking your truth, gaining clarity. He's sitting there in contemplation. He already knows what he's going to do. So some of you may be doing something very, very majorly. And I forgot to mention, too, with the six of swords, I always get a physical move. So it mirrors the uh, king of swords. So someone could be making a major decision or taking action about moving to a different area 
area or relocation. How about that? So the six, uh, I'm sorry, the King of Swords represents all relationships. It doesn't matter what element shows up. Relationships, gender, and ages. But he's sitting there in terms of, I already know what I'm going to do. I just need to do it. Okay, so that could be you and expressing yourself this week. King of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now we have the Two of Cups following that King of Swords. See, new relationships. I just spoke in Leo's uh, video that it could also represent platonic relationships, but I'm more focused on romance. So it mirrors the Two of Wands. So again, a relationship that may have been slow moving or stagnant is now the energy is going to pick up through the Six of Swords, and then now you have the blessing of the Two of uh, Cups. See how that is? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents the Two of Cups. Again, it could represent platonic new friendships, uh, existing re you know relationships, could represent children, extension of family members, and so forth. Uh, but you see the hands that are clasped here. This is about love, okay? That's how I'm reading that. So, new relationships, romantic being formed. Um sharing you know mutual love and respect sharing mutual interest uh i did say seeing eye to eye with one one another being on the same page with one another two of cups represent cancer scorpio and pisces now we have the chariot chariot is a major arcana that shows up here it's underneath the two of wands it's part of the rolling energies the moving energy so some virgos may be um you know purchasing new cars uh having some you know um car repairs major or minor uh this too just like the six of swords is something that is driven positively towards you or you're being driven towards something very positive uh i equate the uh, chariot with that of the star card hopes wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested also within the scope of that star card energy is the social networking so there could be some more you know for some of you expansion of you know whatever your favorite social uh media is and making new connections in terms of friendships platonic relationships business partnerships um you name it uh but don't be that virgo that gets behind the wheel of a vehicle and forget about you know the speeding uh limits and whatnot because this is a moving violation However positive it is, I still get a moving violation. So this chariot here represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Following the Major Arcana, we have another Major Arcana, the Imprints card. Okay, pregnancy news, childbirth, something's growing, something's developing, something's expanding. This is a card of beauty. Imprints represents Mother Nature, so you may be spending you know, a lot of time outdoors, depending on where you live geographically, and enjoying uh, Mother Nature and God's beauty. This is a card of peace it is a relationship card again it could be the development of new relationships romantic platonic um taking care of yourself inner beauty outer beauty could be for females um hairstyling makeup um you know diet changes modifications in your diet it could be just you are being more um attuned into your health this could also be for the males you know, taking care of themselves, health-wise, eating properly, you know, taking care of themselves outwardly, physically, inwardly, you know, internally. So the Empress is a very uh, great card to receive as your second or third major arcana because we have the moon here. So we have to see how this energy opens up for you. Following the Major Arcana, uh, Virgo, we have the Six of Cups. So this is going down memory lane. This is uh, someone who is thinking highly of you right now. This could be a family member. This could be, um, you know, an ex-romantic partner. This could be uh, a friend. But their thoughts of you are on their mind and they're thinking of you in a good emotional way or maybe the connection that you may have had. So don't be too surprised if you hear from somebody that you may not have heard from in a while and they reach out to you just to catch up or just to see how you're doing. Uh, for others, this is the part of going down memory lane. So you could be memorializing someone who is no longer here and the date significant to that energy would be July 25th to the 31st and it may be their passing date or their birth date or some other type of date that you are connected to them um, that you know about so the six of cups is an even number of cups so the energy that you you know put out there just like the two of cups 
you're going to receive that back. All right, so following the Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, uh, Virgo, now we have the Five of Pentacles. Wow, so I said about the Four of Pentacles could be we're overly concerned about your money or your finances. She's sitting there. Obviously, she's distraught. But we don't know if it's financial. We don't know what's going on. The fives always indicate some type of loss. Uh, and since the pentacles represent money, I'm assuming that it could be money that she's stressed out about. But what she fails to recognize is that there's a big key that's right over here and she doesn't notice it. If she notices the key, takes herself out of her own misery and know that the key goes into the keyhole, that door opens up all kinds of possibilities and it could be financial relief or some other financial uh, blessings that she is just being uh, unaware of. The Five of Pentacles could also mean on a positive side here for you, um, Virgo, that you know, you're know you that Virgo that donates your time and or money to worthy charitable causes. This still would be my ghosting card. You're ghosting someone, someone's ghosting you. You're being stubborn, someone's being stubborn towards you. You're ignoring someone or someone is ignoring you. That's the Five of Pentacles always for me. That represents you, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And your final card in this reading here is going to be the... Oh, this is the Death card, Major Arcana. And actually, I like the Death card because it's like a rebirth. Something phases out, something closes out. It mirrors the chariot. Someone, again, could be getting rid of a card that just no longer works. And then there's a purchase of a new card. Whatever the Death card means for you. Again, it does not denote physical death. Um, um, it's just a rebirth. It's usually major transformation of some type or some kind that some of you may be experiencing. Um, but because you have four major your arcanas here. This is some powerful energy here. Uh, I opened up Cancer's reading with saying, first before I even started shuffling the cards, I said I felt a strong energy shift. Um, we're talking about love and relationships, you know, during that video. And then, of course, they get all the cards to support what I felt. Um, but we'll also have to wait for them to see how that energy plays out. Death card here represents Scorpio. The other water energy is Cancer and Pisces. So it's a rebirth, something that you have to get rid of, something that needs to come to a close, Virgo. Only you know that. I don't know it. Um, it could just be getting rid of clothes. It just could be, you know, getting rid of um, things that you just no longer need. Um, if it is, you know, having to, um, you know, come to releasing a relationship or friendship, then that's the death card. But if you have to or you need to there's always someone new it's underneath the two of cups that comes forth so don't worry about having to give up something um, that is no longer um, working for you or resonating for you this is what i have for you this week virgo not too bad i think i'm impressed with it anyway whatever you do do it safely uh this is only potential energy that may open up for you uh it's not going to hit everyone but you know if it's useful for a, a few of you then i'm happy if not don't worry about it walk away from it okay so yes be safe be well uh and keep smiling for me i Thank you for your continued support of me and my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.